Hi everyone, I had to roll up my sleeves for this one. Welcome back to my channel Planning for Reality and welcome to an unexpected video this year, uh, well this soon. Uh, I have decided to end my coin challenge and I asked for you guys' opinion on um, a couple of my videos last week and I also put out a poll on Instagram and majority voted in favour of cashing out the big challenge, ending it now and moving on to something else and using some of this money or hopefully being able to pay off a debt with this money. Some other people also suggested to use it for bulk grocery shopping or something else, which I do appreciate. And I appreciate everyone that engaged um, and all of your feedback. Thank you so much. I Deep down in my heart, I was thinking the same thing. I just wasn't sure if I was um, you know, being impatient uh, with the challenge. Uh, but this challenge is inspired by the debt debacle. I will link her channel below. She is an amazing cash supper um, uh, here in Australia. And this challenge goes up by five cent increments all the way up to $10. So I started this challenge on the 31st of August 2022, which was last August. And today I think is the 11th. So I'm going to write the 11th, I think it's the 11th or the 10th, um, because I'm not working on a computer anymore or writing the date daily, I kind of forget. Um, so 11th of the 7th, 2023, I'm happy with that, uh, just leaving it at that. And uh, we are going to go ahead and bring out the coin savings box that we've um you know, collected so far and sort it out and see how much we've got. And while I do that, um, I may chat a little bit or um, speed some of it up. But what I did decide to do just for fun, I know it's silly. I, I bought out the scale. It's the um, just normal bathroom scale. And it's a really old one that we have. Um, so you will see that it, it's not exactly on the zero line. It's about... Um, 100 grams off so or is that 200 or 200 grams off so i will deduct 200 grams at the end and here it really hurt when i had to bring it down because it was up high uh i will bring in the the coins container and i'm gonna put it down and i hope you can see or you can't really see i might have to turn it So it's about 10 kilograms. I'm not sure how much that is in pounds. If I can figure out how to add it in somewhere, I will. But this is 10 kilograms. So it is pretty heavy and we were only not even halfway through the challenge, maybe maybe a third, a third of the way through the challenge. So if we finish that challenge, um, this will probably be 20 kilos or more. So I'm going to now put it to the side and move the scale out of the way. And what I've got to help me out here today is I've got some just containers that I've got in the kitchen. You can see that I like my con kitchen containers um, because I use them. Okay, let's see how we're going to do this. It might not all be in view, but try my best. And I've got my calculator. I've got a notepad and a pen. And my thought process in sorting this out was separating each kind of coins and then going through and adding each container up. And I hope they fit the the denominations that... Um, I need two, one, fifty, twenty, ten, or oh, and five cent coins. We might just leave them in the big container um, at the bottom. So I'm just going to remove the charger so it's not bothering. Okay. 
So, and we may find some interesting coins in here. Um, and I know that some people like to collect them. I really, really look. And even if it's a cool one and I need to use it, I will go ahead and use it. So you can see here, I've got a lot of $2 coins already at the top that I'm removing. And if there are any cool ones, I will stop and show you. Like this one here. I don't know if you can see. I don't know if that's any anything important. Okay. And I'll try to use two hands to, to go faster, to go quicker. I hope everyone is doing well and is having a great week. Um, and staying safe and healthy. That's the important thing. Uh, you may hear some background noise because of the kiddos. Uh, this is the last week home from school. And then they will go back next week. I'm not sure about this one. It says... P, the pinnacles. I don't know if you can see in my, um, because I film on my phone. So, and it's not a really um, new phone or anything like that. It is, I've had it for a few years. It's just a Samsung, one of those um, A series. So, it's nothing too fancy. So, you'll probably. Um, my camera you probably can't see everything very well and then there's this one that has something on it it says uh merino uh does that say merino a difference or something like that oh making it making a difference volunteers australia okay so let's get rid of the, some of the ones on top. The 20 cents look like they're taking up a lot of room. And I need to do the first I'm also going to do it. I have sorted all of the coins out. I stopped recording because I went away, came back, and I came back. So I just thought it was um, and then it'll be forever. Then ending, if I have to, you can record and you can write it up. So the 20 cents I have the most. And um, here we go. So two dollar coins. One of them. 50 cents. Two of the 20 cents. 10 cents. And five cents. So now I need to count it all up. So my, my goal, uh, my thought process is to just count the number of coins, record it on the notepad, and then use the calculator to do the, the math. So I'm going to go ahead and get started with that. Um, here's the process of my story business. Um, so maybe it's not a good idea to take these coins instead of small challenges. But that's okay. I just put them in here and I will start counting.
okay so i added up how many of each type of coin there is and this is what we've got it may be incorrect but it's the closest you can see how dirty coins are my fingers um have turned black so let's see how much money we saved so far with the coins challenge so there is 169 there so two dollars times 169 is 338 one dollars equals 135 50 cents there's 57 dollars there 20 cents was 200 plus 172 times 20 cents is 74.40 um 10 cents there was 201 times 10 cents is twenty dollars and ten and five cents there's nine dollars ninety um there is no easy way to count coins i tried to pile them up in tens i tried counting by fives i tried counting by twos um it's just time consuming and you really need to focus. So I wasn't able to talk in between. Um, so that's just my opinion. So let's go ahead and get the totals and see how much all of these coins are equal to. Okay, 338 plus 135 plus 57 plus 74.40 plus $20.10 plus $9.90. Six hundred and thirty-four dollars and forty cents, which will pay off my debt. Hooray! If we were to continue the challenge, I think it's one thousand minus six thirty-four forty. We still needed three hundred and sixty-five, so we were a third of uh, two thirds of the way in, and we still had a third of the way to go. But it didn't look like that because of the way the challenge is, where we started with the big numbers and ended with the small numbers. This challenge is 100% doable. Um, it just requires patience. And I know, noticed that I wasn't able to put as much coins in as I used to because of my financial situation. That's why I kind of thought of this and your feedback... Um, is really appreciated and I did take it on uh, for those that were looking forward to me finishing the challenge I'm sorry uh, I will start a different kind of coins challenge um, soon but at least this way I can go ahead and pay off the debt and I may actually have some money left because in my um, my debt extra debt envelope which is over here we already have 1 20 30 40 50 so we already have 150 and i believe what's owing is 610 or 620 i'm just going to round it up to 620 minus 150 is 470 so if we minus 470 um 635 for example or 634 minus 470 i should still have 164 dollars left from this money once i've paid off my debt and that's the worst case that's if i can't come to an agreement with them for a discount so i'm going to take this money to the bank cash it in for notes and go ahead and make an arrangement with the um, debt, collection, debt collection agency. And before I do that, I'm going to probably have some fun with these coins and try to pick out some of the um, nicer ones. I don't know if you can sell these coins or, you know, if it's even worth it to keep. Let me know in the comments below, have you ever sold any of the collectible coins? Uh, was it worth it? Did you get any money from it? Uh, like, is it worth the effort? 
So this one here is a blue circle in the middle and it says 75th anniversary of peacekeeping. Um, I noticed that mostly the $1 and $2 coins have special ones and also uh, some of the 50 cents like there's this one. I should have put them aside as I was looking at them. If I, I can't. I can't see what's written in there. Uh, it's too small for me, for my eyes. And then there's this one. Um, and this one looks a little bit different than the uh, the standard 50 cent. Um, I'll just go ahead and pick out maybe a couple of more. There's this one here. This one says, whoop, this one says, um, Aeotisis, I think, I'm not sure. And also this one, so there's different ones in the 50 senses I found. And also in the gold coins, there's different, um, there's different, kind of coins. Caroline from Caracash, if you're watching this video, <laughs> you're invited to my place to come and check out coins. Um, there's so many. I, I know there's a lot of collectors out there or, you know, people that enjoy these. Um, but to me, I don't know and understand this, so the money is just money to me. But like I said, if you do, um, have you have you ever sold any coins? Uh, was it worth it? Was it worth the effort? Um, and um, that is it for this video. I'm going to end it there. This took me a couple of hours, so I'm really tired from sitting in one spot. I want to thank you all for watching the video to the end. And I hope to see you all in my next video, which will be my savings challenge video. So I will see you all next time. Bye-bye, everyone. Bye.